Hey, hey. Another amazing day to be confident. So they say with social distancing, we should be six feet away. No. If you're negative, then you need to stay 600 feet away from me. You need to back up way further than six feet. Because everybody's out there worrying about all the things that they can't control right now. And it's scientifically proven that when you think negatively, it lowers your immune system. Don't come bringing that stuff around me. Don't bring it around here. There's a new law of the land over here and it's no negativity allowed. No negativity. You've heard me say that even in a positive lifestyle, you can have negative thoughts, but you just can't let those negative thoughts control you or define who you are. And unfortunately, I'm starting to see a lot of people, friends of mine, that are allowing the negative thoughts to absorb into them. So if you're negative, still love you. I just, I need you to stay 600 feet away from me because I need my immune system stronger than ever right now. And the law of attraction will tell you that you become what you think about. Focus on the things that you can control. Practice your social distancing, six feet. I appreciate every single one of you for practicing that because we all need to unite in this time. But everybody's looking for that immune. What's the best way to create better immunity or my immune system? They're looking for the right drink. They're looking for the right product, the right ingredient. When we have that so close to us, it's right here. You want stronger immunity? You want your immune system to be the absolute best? It's up here. Don't let anybody else convince you otherwise. That's my message today. I avoid it on social media. I have this innate ability just to avoid the distraction. I don't, I don't fall into the negative banter, what's going on. I stay, I keep newsworthy. I want to be up to date. I want the information, but I allow the information that I need to live the best life that I can and for my family and for my friends, the people on my bus. I want to bring the best I possibly can to you, but I can't do it if you're bringing negativity into my life. So even if it's without social media, people are texting me. Hey man, this sucks. Gosh, what are you doing in this horrible situation environment? What? Here's what I want you to do. If you're watching this now or on replay, I appreciate you being on here. Number one, I want you to find the, the great that's happening right now in our world. Go find the great. Maybe it's you have more time with your kids or your family or you have more alone time. You can find yourself, maybe create different purpose for yourself. You get out and do more walks. You, you can focus on eating more nutritiously. Stop thinking about all the things that you have to give up and start thinking about the things that you can gain by this opportunity because we're all going through it. Number two, I want you to stop blaming people. Stop blaming what's happening on other people. Stop blaming what's happening to you on other people. We can only can control what we control. Take 100% responsibility every day for what you're doing, how it's happening, and it doesn't matter what's happening to you. It doesn't matter what's happening to you. It's how you respond and react to what's happening to you that really matters. So number two, stop blaming people. You're embarrassing yourself. Take 100% responsibility for everything that you do, say, think, act. Even my kids will tell you. The two things you can control, Dad, are going to be your thoughts and your actions. Damn right. And number three, I want you to learn from the clues. Right now is a better time than any 
to get involved with something that you've been procrastinating on. Maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's going to rebuild a connection or relationship with somebody that you know you had resentment with. Go build it. Go repair it. Success leaves clues. We've heard that. That's a Jim Rohn saying that eventually Tony Robbins picked up and then Tony Robbins ran with it. Success leaves clues. Coach Peter Passetto uses it. I've heard Hank use it. I've heard it. Success leaves clues. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Just do what works. And if you know that your mind is the most powerful tool that you can have to create the most abundant life that you can, why the hell aren't you using it? People know what they need to do. They just don't do what they know. Let's go. All right, that's about it. Recap. Social distancing, they say stay six feet away. I'm telling you, if you're thinking negative and you're putting it out there, I need you to stay 600 feet away from me. Please, let me be polite, please. All right, I'll tell you what, tough times don't last, tough people do. Let's go, talk to you later. Oh, I have the body weight workout going on in, I don't know, 25 minutes. Join us, join me. I posted on my page. We're doing a 30 minute body weight workout and it's a you call it. So everybody that shows up, we do a round robin. Everybody calls an exercise and we do it for 60 seconds. It's an awesome time. It's fun, we laugh, we sweat. The time goes by like that and we got some tremendous physical activity in. So I'm gonna invite you all to that as well. Today's the last day we're doing it for the week. Friday, closing it down. Flex your Friday, Fitness Friday. Love you all. Let's make it a great day.